Welcome to our different uh, hedge fund billionaire Stephen Schoenfeld and his wife Brooke just paid $111 million for this estate in Palm Beach, making it the most expensive home ever sold in Florida. Now, Schoenfeld is the founder of Schoenfeld Strategic Advisors. He will use it as a vacation home and said he doesn't plan to move out of New York. Now, the estate is called La Reverie. It's six acres stretching from the ocean to the intercoastal. It's 70,000 square feet. 11 bedrooms, 22 bathrooms. It's got a bowling alley. It's got ice cream stand, a spa, parlor, pool, tennis court. Now, it was sold by Sidel Miller. She, by the way, is a hair, a hair care tycoon. She had listed the property for $200 million. Now, the estate is on a prime stretch of Palm Beach known as Billionaire's Row. You've got a house a few doors down that had held the record. It sold this summer for $110.2 million. The buyer of that property is unknown. Ken Griffin is a little bit north of that. He has a property that he spent over $200 million assembling to build his dream home. And then a little north of that is Mar-a-Lago. So pretty good neighborhood in case he has to borrow a cup of sugar from one of his neighbors. And it is no accident that this is happening in Florida. You have been itemizing uh, many times how the, uh, the high-end real estate market in states like New York and California are suffering because of tax issues, and that's not the case in Florida, is it? Not at all, and in this case, he's not moving there. But what's helped this market, particularly in Palm Beach, is the sense that prices are not going down. What's, what's sort of stalled the luxury markets in New York and parts of California is the sense that prices are going to go down further, so the wealthy are just sitting on the sidelines and waiting. In Florida, you've got stable or even rising prices in Palm Beach, so the buyers figure, look, it's not going to get any better for me, so we're going to jump in now. That's why you had these two sales neck, back to back in this one part of Palm Beach for over $100 million in just six months. I know there are fewer Chinese and Russians coming to the U.S., Robert, and buying luxury real estate. Has that hurt prices at all? Well, in Florida, New Yorkers are the new Russians. It's, it's the emigres from, as Bill mentioned, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, even Illinois, that are fleeing the salt changes and those higher taxes to Florida. So, yes, those foreign buyers are basically gone from most of South Florida, with the exception of some of the Latin Americans. But the, the northeastern folks have come in in a big way. And that's what's turned around the South Florida luxury market when compared to New York or California.